so I'm just going to say a little bit then about commons. Uh, so any images that you see on the Wikimedia Foundation projects, by and large, will have this be hosted on Wiki Commons. So there's one central. Except for that one. Uh, oh really? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sometimes this one sounds like it's just on Wikiversity. Oh no. Sorry. Oh no. So although I'm still on Wikiversity, and we can tell by the the logo up in the left hand corner, when you click on an image, it will take you to a dedicated page for the image. Um, but what you might notice is that this file is from the Wikimedia Commons. The description on its description page there is shown below. So I could just grab the image from there if I was going to use it, but if I want to go back to where it is actually hosted, um, then I will find that I end up on Wikimedia Commons. Now some of you have started searching with diversity for content and finding that there's not much, um, and that's true. It depends on your topic area. It really depends if somebody passionate has come along and started uh, putting materials there. If you then go to Commons, though, which is the broader, broader uh, uh, resource, and search in there, you'll find that there's, uh, there's there are substantially more images. So what I just showed, for example, my the psychology people, we type in psychology and search. Um, on Commons, probably the best way to navigate, well, one, one of the useful ways to navigate is to go to a category page. So if you can find the root level category for your topic, in this case, category psychology, um, there are a number of boffins sitting there. Once people upload images, they then go uh, through the task of sorting and categorising those images into categories and subcategories and subcategories and subcategories. So one way to find things is simply to search up here for something specific like Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs. Um, or you could drill down through these various categories. Um, so branches of psychology, for example. coming up next week on aggression, then I can come in here and have a bit of a look for an image that I might like. In fact, I did use this one. Uh, I actually downloaded this particular image and because I, I then re-cropped it, uploaded it again, and uh, I used that one as um, actually the cover page for one, one of my images. What's that? I'm sure you didn't name it. Uh, no, that was the original name, actually. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's partly what I mean by the search, you need to be a little bit clever because the person who uploaded it probably wasn't thinking um, social psychology at all, but they had a, quite a different context in mind. So, how, were you, who might have uploaded it for what purpose and how was it got into a, an open... Well, let's have, let's have a look. Let's have a look. So, the source... Did you get permission from the little children? Uh, that's a good point. Yeah. Well, that is a good point, and that's one that, that Lee has raised. So the source was this original photograph, and we'll have a look at where it came from if you like later. Um, so the person themselves has uploaded it. A shot I did stop going back in 2003. It's been used in a few other places. So it's a 2003 photograph. The source was originally posted to Flickr, which is a uh, photo sharing website or image sharing website and we can go to that original image which would have been the first time that it was that it was uploaded. All right. And it's been uploaded by this person here, TXT, and the licensing information is down here, some rights reserved.
The court. Um, and well, within your rights to then leave a message and say, uh, I would like this image removed, and they would have to. Yeah. On the other hand, as a photographer in a public place, this is in a public street, if you take a photograph of people in a public place, it's the rights of that photograph are with the photographer. Now, I'm not disagreeing with you that morally or ethically, you may feel that, that may not be appropriate to have those kids up there. Yeah, living people who are identifiable in some sort of uh, situation where you might find that they feel uncomfortable about that, then you probably should, should check with them. And so when, I, when I'm creating uh, PowerPoints or textbooks and stuff like that, I deliberately avoid pictures of people for that very reason. I can't be sure if that person's given a release. In this case, though, because I can't really easily identify any one individual in there, the faces are obscured or side on, I might decide if it was a really important image, I, I would go with that one and go with the risk. But, uh, yeah, generally portraits and stuff, I wouldn't just... But the photographer has said... Well, according. Yeah.